Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya shalom. Koholim la yahu bashmi awashai bahashem kaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. The body spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwafthis out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the spirit. Okay, um, and this guy right here that you see right here in the yellow sweater, he's, you know, and we're going to keep it classy. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no, no Striz Ikes. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this is a real touchy subject. But this, 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 this pastor supposedly, you know, he's supposedly homosexual. And, you know, hey, he's basically like, hey, he was called to, to, to do it, do his thing, man. So now this is from um, Jesse Lee Peterson. And this video came out uh, quite a while ago. But this guy right here that you see in the right hand corner right here, he's doing a, um, basically like an, um, a reaction came out like um, he done it like nine days ago. As you can see, it's got almost 300,000 um, um, views so far, 16,000 um, thumbs up. And you know, eight thousand, you know, almost eighty-five hundred um, comments. And the comments, people are just, you know, they, 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 they not with it, man. You can, you can just, <laughs> they not with it, man. But anyway, I wanted to just play like some pieces and some parts because this guy going all the way off, and, and it's amazing that one thing I can say, one thing you might be able to say about Muslims, you might say, oh, they wild over there in those eastern countries, they're savages, they cutting off people's hands, they're hanging people, and they're whipping the women, the women can't do, but one thing I will say about them is, is they'll go hard about that false god of theirs, but when it comes to these Christians, the America being built on Christianity, they came here, raped, robbed, pillaged, stole everything, all in the name of white Jesus, but they got a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand different depictions of Jesus, man. It's just, you know, the same white guy, but all these different denominations, man. And this is one of their denominations right here. And they, none of these Christians were actually coming up against this guy and, and, and saying, hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> no, because you know why? You're in white America and this thing flies, man. It, you, you can do whatever you want to do here, man. You can even take up the Holy Scriptures. Let's let's just play some of the video. I'm going to probably skip through it a little bit. I watched the whole entire video. Not one time did the guy bring up any scriptures and, you know, it kind of got a little heated, you know, when it when the, the guy asked him about his husband or, you know, this guy, he got he got the, the his partner with him at the show. And basically you asking him like, OK, which one of y'all is the woman and which one of y'all is the man? Which one of y'all going to be the husband or the wife, so to speak? And he just he couldn't take it. Told him to take the mic off of him. So that's just a long story short through that. But it's a few things that he said off in here that's just crazy, man. But let's just play some of it. And this is for um, educational purposes only. I'm not, you know, I, I, you know, I'm just using it as that. I'm not making any monetary value off of it or anything. So let's play it. That God reconciles us back to himself. So you do agree then that human beings have fallen away from God, right? That humans have fallen away from God, according to Adam right. and all that, yes. And then at some point, those who want to, who seek him will come back. Those who, who seek him are that he's called back to them, yes, then they will is it or Is it possible to overcome that fallen state? It is possible to overcome that fallen state if we accept... Um, if we accept Christ back into our hearts. Oh, it's about to get good. So how does one know when they're in a fallen state? Well, a person will know that they're in a fallen state when, or is, is when they don't live a, a life that's acceptable. I believe that's really acceptable to themselves. So it's like a person that is a drug addict. No, 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 not a, not a, you know, he's the... <laughs> He should have been saying acceptable to to you. How about Shem was shy, but he he you could tell he wanted to say that, but he 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 had to see he's got to he's got to stick to his script to to um basically justify the lifestyle that he's living. He's actually in a pulpit. He has, he this guy actually has a church and he's teaching people. You see what I'm saying? Well, let's get some more. I think our person that is um, drinks too much liquor, um, a person that. Maybe um, not, possibly not living their best life or their or what doing what they're called to do. I think that the now, mind you, he said that you can come back from this fallen state. That it's possible that you can come back from this fallen state as long as you you know you you believe in Christ, so to speak, right? So 
he doesn't consider his lifestyle to be a part of that fallen state. And he's actually supposedly he, he went to seminary school, too. You know, but and that's mainly the problem, man. That, that, that's pretty much that cemetery school, man. I've done, done a lot of you. Um, hey, got two thirds out here just bugging the hell out, man, because that's the teaching that most of these people that's out here bugging out and just, you know, the, the ones that's filling up the jails and filling up the the, the, the strip clubs, you name it, man. They all, they all tell you they're Christians, man. Let's get some more people are the people that find themselves in a fallen state so when they're not living in life according to god and they're in a fallen state if if you're not living a life that is according to the principles of god yes then you're in a fallen state then you're in a fallen state um so so if I, I read, and I don't know if it's true or not i'd like to ask the person before i mention you know okay no if it's true or not are you a homosexual I am a um, same-gender loving man. So it doesn't mean you're a homosexual? It means that I'm a same-gender loving man. But just for Come on, don't don't play semantics, brother. Just just say it. You already know what's coming, and that's why you're playing on defense right now. You're you're not trying to say it, but you know exactly what he's saying. That's just that's just talk. That's why I'm smiling so hard, because I already knew it was coming. I'm, I'm black and slow. Okay. And just for the record, does that mean you're a homosexual? <laughs> he said, I'm black and slow. Can you just... <laughs> He's a troll. Yeah, I, I swear to goodness, man. He, he didn't even wait three, five minutes. Cool. I, yeah, I could be considered a homosexual. Are you considered? I don't want to think of you if yeah, you're not. I'm a homosexual. You're a homosexual? Yes. And so you are... Well, there you have it. It took him that long to get to that point. You see what I'm saying now? Just a few seconds back, he was talking about, you know, living by the principles. You you know, you're in a fallen state if you're not living by the principles of your how about Shimia was shy. And, and, and he has to know if he's picking up a Bible, he has to know that it is in the scriptures that his lifestyle is punishable by death, man. Matter of fact, let's 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 go let's get let's go to it real quick. He's actually at the show with his man. Right or his woman or whatever you want, whatever you want to call him, man. Um, let's uh, what is that? Uh, I'm just gonna let me because it's two of them I want to get. Let's just put in. And it's also in the New Testament as well, man. You can read that in um Romans um chapter one. If you read through Romans chapter one, like starting at about, I would start at about twenty three and go on down. You're gonna see that the Lord is not dealing with this particular type of lifestyle in the Old Testament nor the New, man. And anybody telling you that they're they're lying on the Lord, they're adding to and they're taking away from the Holy Scriptures, and that's exactly what this guy's doing. Leviticus eighteen and twenty two: Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind; it is an abomination. So he, he's an abomination to the Lord. Now, do these people read the Bible? I don't know, man. I, I guess they don't. They can't read the Bible, but I'm sure they know these scriptures, man. They may not know it verbatim, but they 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 have an idea. They, or, or, or anybody that's in a church or setting or I don't know why they fight so hard, man, to, to try and be a part of um, to have anything to do with the Bible. Why not just go ahead and live your life? You know what I'm saying? Why, why are you so hard pressed to make the Lord accept who you trying to be? Why don't you try and be who he wants you to be? As opposed to, oh, well, I'm going to be this way. Lord, he's got to accept it. Why? Because white Jesus love everybody. He loves us all. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. And see, these are the types of things that the Christian church teach. And this is the reason why our people are so out of whack, man. They're so bugged out and they're they living in all kinds of different um, <laughs> just just messed up situations, man, because Christianity done really messed our people up, man. Leviticus 20 and 13, it says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. See, and see, this was Old Testament. They'll say Old Testament. Well, you can't stone nobody. No, nah, we hey, we got to do a, a thing to nobody. We don't have to touch nobody. We don't have to do nothing. But guess what? The Lord can have you fly out of the windshield of a car, man. In an accident, the Lord can say the Lord is the one that um, kills and makes alive. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39. He kills and makes alive. He wounds and he heals. It says there's no God with him and neither can no one deliver you out of his hand. So. It's just straight up. Now, I'm not sure how long ago this, this interview was, but I can remember seeing this one time. And like I said, this guy, he's just doing a reaction to it like nine days ago. But let's get some more. And so you're a homosexual pastor? I am a homosexual pastor, yes. How long have you been a homosexual pastor? 
Um, I've been a pastor um, for eight years, uh, senior pastor, and then before that, prior to that, um, I was a youth pastor. Oh, okay. Why do you think that God would call a, a person, a homosexual, to be a pastor but not change him? Lucky, it's lucky, it's lucky for the. Um, it's gonna be some of them in here. Let's get into it again. So, um, I don't think that God majors where we minor, uh, and I, and so I think that what happens is I think that we put limitations on God that God doesn't have. Um, for example, um, we could. And if you go to seminary or something like that, you find out that there's a thought process that God could possibly be a woman or that God could be this or that God could be that. That God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. You believe that he can be a woman? I believe that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. So can it be a homosexual too if you need him to be one? Well, honestly, I don't think that God... God, the Bible says that God is neither male nor female. Right. So how so, can it be a woman in if <laughs> And my man, is he looking like, you know, but and he you he actually, you know, kind of used the scripture of um our father. He used the Lord's Prayer. So with that man and woman crap, you know what I'm saying? That we, he just went into the Lord's Prayer, our father, which are in heaven. <laughs> so it's you know, a father is a male figure, man. And then the scriptures also says that the Lord is a man of war. But see how this guy is playing around, man. Look, man, y'all, hey, you, you, um, people that's that's of that alphabet lifestyle and just any life. Hey, look, man, y'all better stop playing with the Lord, man. Y'all better repent. That's the best, <laughs> best that we can tell you. All that playing around with the Lord and talking about he's this, 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 and this. Matter of fact, but see, these people don't have no fear of Yahweh about shooting Yahweh shy. Let me get um, let me get a quick scripture real fast. We'll go back into a little bit more of it. I don't want to keep this long. It was just like I was just kind of, you know, I was watching another lesson, but that would kind of popped up in the little timeline. So I'm like, you know what? Let me check this out. And then once I realized I had seen it before, and I'm not sure how old this is. It's got to be at least a year, two years old or so. But this guy, like I said, he's doing a, um his own reaction to it, which is fine because, you know what I'm saying? Hey, these are um educational moments, man, for our people, man. Ecclesiastes um, 5 and 2. Be not rash with thy mouth. And let thine heart be, and let not thine heart be hasty to other anything before Yahweh, for Yahweh is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Now that goes off into you know what I'm saying, um, uh, you know, like making um, vows and things of that nature, saying, Lord, I'll do this if you do this for me and stuff like that. But still, it goes off into you know you. It's plenty of scriptures that talks about you don't you know you it's you just want to keep your damn mouth shut, man. And, and be used wisdom. Let's get um Proverbs 10 and 9, 19, Salakia. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. This dude, man, now he's sitting there. If you notice, he's trying to be, he's basically being um conniving, man, with, with his answers, you know, but he he's trying to word it the proper way. But still, he, even if you're trying to slowly, Cause he's being deceptive. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, let me get this again. It says in a multitude of words, there one, if not sin, but he that refraineth his lips, his lips is wise. So when it comes to refraining your lips, it's certain things, man, that you're just not going to say, man, as far as, especially not as far as the scriptures, man, as far as the Lord, why would you go on a, on a show on a platform and sit there and, and, and then, and, and and not be expected to be asked these questions. But when you are asked the questions and the answers that you're given, you're actually justifying that the Lord is actually with your actions, man. <laughs> you need to refrain your lips, man. That's being wise. Well, I wouldn't even go on the show. Uh, but but this is how bold these people are. You see? Let me see. Was it another one? Let's get. um. Let's just go back into the video. Let's get a little bit more. So how can so, it be a woman then if he's not a female? Well, I'm saying that our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Our Father, 
<laughs> is neither man nor woman. Our father. Our father is neither male. Okay, I just learned something. See, we just now learned something together. So there's a book that's by um, by watch by. There's a book that is written. It's called. Um, uh, but that's all right about the title. What about the book? But in the book, um, the principles of the book talk about God swaying himself to um, to this book. And it's called The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. And so if you read that book, then you find out that God basically finds himself congruent to whatever state of mind a person is, is in. So that book is more important than the basic instructions before leaving Earth. Okay. So at one state, God is a Jewish carpenter. At one state, God shows himself as um, as a big black um, woman in the kitchen cooking. Big black woman? Uh, a black woman <laughs> in, the kitchen, in the kitchen cooking. Oh, and so, so you think God can be a big black woman? I think that God can be whatever it is that you need God, God. to be at that moment. Do you think that God can be a homosexual too? I don't. If God needs to be a homosexual, I think that he was, but I don't like him to that. I if God needs to be, okay. I'm All right. Well, anyway, man, hey, it goes on and on. And as you can see, and, and like I said, I watched the entire video. He, he never brought up any scriptures. The guy, you know, ended up, you know, asking him about his, you know, the partner that he brought to the show with him and stuff and who was going to be, you know, the husband or wife, whatever. The case. He got uh, upset and and stood up and told him take the microphone off me and i'm and he just walked off the set you know what i'm saying so you know he, he didn't have the because you could see he was being cut that man was cutting him all up just by asking him basic questions now you supposedly be you're in a position where you're a pastor you're supposed to be leading a flock so to speak and simple questions it wasn't even like you know he was asking legitimate questions and he's just getting offended like oh i feel like you're disrespecting me he could have said, OK, I feel like you disrespecting me, but let me educate you or whatever, whatever. You know, even you, because this is what you want people to believe. You want people to believe that what you're doing is all right. But as soon as somebody asks you a question about it and, 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 and anybody should be able to ask you a legitimate question. If you're saying you're a pastor and the scriptures clearly says that homosexual homosexuality is a sin is punishable by death. And somebody asking you some questions about it, but you the pastor and you trying to show the people that what a look where the scriptures at, man. First off. He couldn't bring up no scriptures. He not, didn't bring up not one. Now he's pointing to this book that the Lord can be a so-called big black, big, big fat black woman in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but where's the scriptures? You, you quoting a book. Where are the scriptures at, man? Quote the real book. But pull them scriptures out of the real book, man. Well, I just got, let me get this one more precept because this is the bottom line on on everything that's going down, man, when it, when it comes to this truth. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This guy don't fear Yahweh, man, calling him a big black woman in the kitchen. He can be whatever you want him to be or whatever you need him to be. He can be a homosexual. He can be this. He can be that. that that's a nigga with no fear, man. Straight up. It says, fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. What, what You can't keep a simple commandment that says don't lie with another man. And then, you know, like I said, if you look at the video, I, matter of fact, um, I, I want to leave the, the link or whatever. You can watch the entire video yourself. You know what I'm saying? And um, you'll see that it's just all trash, man, just garbage. But this, hey, but this is your white Jesus Christianity. Why aren't you, where's vocab alone? And, and people like that, why aren't they fighting for the gospel? Why aren't they, you know what I'm saying, I'm defending the gospel when it comes to stuff like this right here? But they don't care about that. They want to come after the Hebrew Israelites, you know what I'm saying, that's speaking the pure 100% truth and letting you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the real, true Hebrew Israelites and that these particular type of lifestyles are things that the Lord told us not to do when he first gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. These were... Uh, uh, Ba basically, Hamite lifestyles, man. Goddamn, um, um, Africans, Philistines, Canaanites, man. The Lord told us when we came out of the, out of Egypt, don't do what these heathen nations was doing, and these are some of the things that they was into. And Jake got into that stuff, man. 
started worshiping all kinds of idols and false gods. Now here we go. We at the lowest, lowest of the totem pole in all these wicked ass countries, man, and all these wicked ass kingdoms of the so-called white man. Uh, all these 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 nations, man, got us in captivity right now, man. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth out here doing terrible. And you know you you know a nation doing terrible, man. When you have a a, a grown so-called black man with a beard on his face, looking manly, but his preference is another man. Come on, man. That's, that's destroyed, man. That's complete destruction, man, amongst our people, man. Can't get around it. But I just wanted to just touch on that real quick. You know, um, hey, it's hot time to wake out of sleep, man. We're living in the very last of days, and, and things have gotten completely worse. I've just done a lesson on um, the so-called the, the Queen James Bible. And this could be what he teaches from, too. He probably got a Queen James Bible. Taking out all the words that's got to do with... um. Um, um, the, the alphabet lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? But just let you know, man. Hey, it's getting grimy out here. It, we're down. Hey, it, <laughs> this is the last seconds in the quarter, man. For real. This is the last seconds in the fourth quarter, man. It's, it's about time to get up out of here. The game is about over with. It, this place can't get. <laughs> I mean, every time I say it can't get no more wicked, <laughs> I see something in the news or something that's just like golly man god damn we need to get out of here man this place is wicked as hell but anyway i pray that the lady was edifying with that call me a seller.